She with the orange calicho and the starfish spirit. I might be saying these flowers wrong. <laughs> Bear with me, you guys. And we have um, pile number three with the snapdragon and the lion, the lion spirit today. So if you already know what pile or piles are calling out to you, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into group number one. Again, this topic is an urgent love message from the person on your mind. So hold that person in your mind and whatever pile or piles are calling out to you. Again, timestamps are below. I will start with number one. Hello everybody in group one. I hope you're doing great today. Thank you for joining me today at the Tarot Cottage. You guys were drawn to the moth spirit and this pink zinnia, which is beautiful. I love zinnias. It's like a flower within a flower. Um, and the moth spirit is truly about looking at things from a higher perspective whenever I see a winged creature. Um, but it's really important to think about transformation when we look at the moth as well. I feel like your person wants to take this connection out of the current place that it's in and move it into a higher dimension. There's also that essence of this person being attracted to you despite the fact that sometimes it feels like maybe an addiction or it feels like something that isn't good for them. They'd be attracted to you no matter what. You are this light source that they cannot stop themselves from thinking about, from connecting with, even on a spiritual level, level if this is a no contact situation. Um, but truly it's about that transformation that your person really wants to see happen here. Okay, so love message from your person. Important love message. What do they want to get across to you? What do they want to say? This could be a no contact situation for some of you. That could be the reason. Here we have the moth again, you guys. Straight out of the gate. You guys chose the right pile. We have the ten of swords. They see this creature taking these two skulls up and out of the place where they're where they're feeling restricted and they're moving it into a brand new dimension, a brand new space. It's about that transformation. The Ten of Swords is about letting go of an idea that you've become really, um, that you've had your heart set on for a really long time. It's like this person's been loving you from afar. I feel like this could be a no contact situation, but they desperately want to take this into another place. It could be a friendship situation you're finding yourself in where the other person is really crushing on you. And I feel like you guys are kind of marrying each other's energy, but not being honest with each other <laughs> with this 10 of swords, because although it is traditionally kind of a sad card, when you think about, you know, putting an ending to something you, you, your ego has become transfixed upon. It's also about transformation. The traditional Ten of Swords in the Rider Waite deck has that beautiful dawn of a new day. After the dark night comes a new start. And that's what this person really hopes for because you are truly like a wish come true for this person. The Nine of Cups, they just want to pour all their love into you. You are like, it's like this, if they had you, they'd have everything. It's like this smug sort of feeling when it comes to this love they have for you. There's some obstacles in the way they feel though. I really sense that. I I just saw the seven of wands on the back of the deck. So we have the page of pentacles. I'm gonna move this up and I'm going to get out a few cards. Urgent message for you from your loved from your person. Urgent love message. We have the emperor. It's a little Oh, we have the beautiful nine of cups or knight of cups rather we have the five of pentacles and on the back of the deck we have the knight of pentacles and the queen of cups i feel like grabbing that card as well so let's talk about your person's urgent message towards you so i feel like this person desperately wants a new beginning with you um but they're trying to be logical about it they're trying to figure out the best way to approach you with this um, connection and I feel like they're they're on the fence about how they're feeling or they're they're truly showing two different sides of themselves like they we have this knight of cups who comes in with amazing intentions you are a wish granted to this person as I said with this knight sorry the nine of cups with the knight of cups <laughs> um, but it's like they're putting on a show for you like we have the emperor energy on one side of this knight on one side of that offer acting like the boss acting like an, a, the king maybe being a little bit stoic, not showing his true emotions. And then on the other side of this, we have the five of pentacles. So despite the fact that they want to approach you with an offer with this page of pentacles really comes through with um, a new opportunity or news, you know, 
they're kind of feeling like there's a lack within themselves. This five of pentacles speaks about that emotional poverty they're finding themselves in. There could be a financial aspect to this connection where they don't feel like they're making enough money to, you know, offer you everything that they want to offer you, which is really their heart. Like, look, at sh she's just offering up her heart filled with compassion, filled with love. Um, the queen of cups is totally abundant, but there's also this, um, passion that they wield for you that they truly want to express and i feel like they're on the move i feel like this person wants to come forward towards you um with this page of pentacles you guys may hear from this person they want to express some of this passion they have and they have a lot of love to offer you um but there's a sense of worrying about how you may receive them you're the queen you know they want to be that king energy but right now they're seeing themselves as this five of pentacles this person who lacks what they need to to fulfill your desires, to fulfill what you, they feel you are worthy of. But your person definitely wants to come towards you. Urgent love message from your person. We have the Ace of Wands. So yeah, they're trying to figure out that creative way of coming forward that stills allow them to protect their heart a little bit, I feel. The Ace of Wands is about that inspired thought that leads to action. Um, it's that spark of an idea that leads to everything that happens in your life. And it's about those passions that they have. They could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but I'm really sensing a bunch of air here as well. Um, and they just are trying to work on a way that they can move this connection into a brand new place. Um, but do it logically so they don't get hurt. The Knight of Pentacles. So while they want to come galloping in um, to express themselves to you, there's a lot inside of them that makes them hesitate. And that Knight of Pentacles is a movement card, but it is the slowest moving knight in the deck. You know, he kind of pontificates upon his next move a lot. He doesn't like to charge into things not knowing the next step. He's very logical. He plods forth. And he gets the job done eventually. It's a very, you know, it's earthbound energy. This person is could be very dependable in your life if they're a friend or if they're in your friendship group. They're a very dependable person. And they're the type that would do anything probably to make you happy at the end of the day. I just saw the Nine of Cups again on the back of this little deck. So Knight of Cups again, you guys. Definitely movement, definitely wanting to come towards you, definitely wanting to offer you all of those things they feel you're worthy of. You know, it's like that feeling of Prince Charming coming in with the candy, the chocolates, the flowers, everything. It's like over the top offer. But the knights don't have the confidence that the king and queens have. It's very important to mention that. Um, here we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles on the back of the deck. So I'm going to pull that up here. Um, they don't have the confidence of a king or a queen. So oftentimes when they come towards people, you know, th they don't have a long-term plan when it comes to what they want to do with you. So this person may have a lot of feelings about moving this connection to another realm, but I don't know that they have long-term plans and they're trying to figure that out. They could be a very young person. They could be someone who's just young at heart. We have this Ace of Pentacles, which again shows, you know, a new opportunity coming, a new windfall when it comes to love. And we have the Two of Pentacles. So they're juggling a lot in their life right now. It's like this feeling of indecision. Uh, they want to, they're multitasking. It's like they're wanting to, approach you but they're also trying to maintain this composure of you know i don't care all that much it's like they're trying to say i don't care all that much but if you like me too then i'm in love with you like it's that type of feeling on the back of this deck i feel like mentioning there's the nine of swords so they're having a lot of anxiety over this entire situation and it's probably playing on their emotions enough that they're losing sleep over it because these feelings are intense enough that they do feel driven to action here they do feel driven to action, but oftentimes when we're driven to action, we sometimes lose sight of, you know, what we're going to do once we get there. And this person also, when they're driven to action, they let themselves get worked up into anxiety, I feel, when they're about to approach you and they convince themselves that maybe they're not good enough yet or now's not, not the right time. You know, they're just... They have such a high opinion of you. We have the Empress on the back of the deck here. Nurturing, loving, compassionate that they don't want to mess it up. Pay attention to the red flags in this situation. 
the signs are cautioning you. Whoops. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Sometimes I see this card and I think of someone who's very flirtatious. And I mentioned in the beginning of the reading that this could resonate for some people who are friends with someone who want to bring that relationship into a new place, into a new transition. Express your love. It's what they truly want to do. For some of you, I see them coming towards you and doing just that. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So it's about that honesty that needs to come forward. The honest, the honesty of these feelings. I feel like if you know this person in real life already, um, if you're connecting, sorry, with this person right now and spending time with them, they're not letting you know that they're feeling such feelings of lack within themselves. They're coming across as pretty confident. On the back of the deck, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life right now. And it's important to always remember that there is a perfect plan. It's working itself out in its perfection. So what love message, what urgent love message does your person want to express to you today? Using my Cottage Oracle Divine Masculine deck here. I don't know how much longer I can do this. They don't know how much longer they can play this game where they don't care. <laughs> How much longer they can take without being in your presence, without longer, you know, they want to be with you. Because you drive me crazy. There's a lot of sexual energy with this person. I don't want anyone to get hurt. And that card is interesting to me because sometimes it shows up when there's a third party situation. So that could resonate with somebody's situation. We have two coming out. Don't give up on us. And I knew the first moment that I saw you that this was going to be a special connection. On the back of the deck, we have the distance between us is killing me. So that could resonate for someone if you find yourself in a no contact situation with this person and you're really resonating with that message. We're going to get you guys some charms. Actually, I'm going to get you guys a couple of these written messages as well. What does your person want to say? This is a love message from your person, an urgent love message. We have, I miss your touch and I have secrets and I feel like those secrets have been you, these feelings they've been yielding for you, um, for a really long time. Thoughts of you are overwhelming. They're losing sleep over it. They're getting anxiety. You should have been my only choice in life. And on the back of the deck I have, I don't know how to let you go or this connection go. Oops, we already have the Eight of Wands jumping out there, guys. So I'm going to take two more for you. Let's take a look. So we already have the Eight of Wands. So swift communication could be coming in for some of you. It's about movement and news and expre oops, expressing that love that this person wants to express with you. We have the Page of Wands. And we have the Ace of Wands. So they're watching. They're watching. They could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius with all of those wands, as could you be. Um, and I feel like, again, they're coming up with that inspired idea that Ace of Wands showed up at the, you know, right here <laughs> in your spread as well. It shows that inspired thought that leads to action. And I feel them, you know, the Eight of Wands is a movement card. So right now they're studying you. They're figuring out how to express themselves to you. But the Page of Wands does show your person reaching out. You know, it does show that a, a new message, new creative energy. So I feel like your person's going to reach out to some of you. We have S here. We have the baby carriage. So children could be a factor. Or you may have just known this person from the time you were a child. We have St. Anthony of Padua. And he is the patron saint of lost things. So Anthony may be a message that is, or sorry, a name that's important to you. And it's important to remember that St. Anthony was you know, the patron saint that baby Jesus really clung to. So children could be a factor here. We have the nickel from 20, 2005. So May or the fifth of any month could be significant. And we have, she believes she could, so she did. It's a message of empowerment for you guys right there. Okay, group one, that is your reading. That is an urgent message from your, the love that you're thinking of in your mind, an urgent message from your person. Um, if this 
resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button for this video. That helps me out so much. Head on over to Instagram if you are interested in a winning a mini free reading with me. I'll be posting about that soon. Otherwise, I just hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. Hello everybody in group two. I hope you're doing really well today. Thank you for joining me today at the Tarot Cottage. You guys were drawn to the starfish spirit and this little orange calancho flower. And this is your reading, your urgent love message from your person. What do they want to say to you today? We have the starfish spirit. The starfish is a water bound energy. It's about that love and emotion that this person wants to bring forward to you. And about the fact that they have not lost hope in this connection. They don't want you to give up in this connection. And it's like that sense of they feel like they've lost you, but they have not lost that hope. If you think of the starfish spirit, if they lose a limb, they'll grow it back. And it's that sense, like even though you're apart, that doesn't matter because time will eventually heal this situation. Karma is at work, fate is at work. This feels could be a, a twin flame soulmate connection, you know, starting out with the starfish card. I'm getting a real sense of that, but we'll see what the rest of your cards say. Okay, urgent love message. What does your person want to say to you? We have the Eight of Cups to start out the reading. The Ten of Swords. And the Four of Cups. Whoops, sorry guys. I'm going to lay out a few cards and then we'll talk about your person's message for you. Six of Swords, wow. Okay. King of Cups, beautiful guys. Loving energy here. The world. On the back of the deck, we have temperance and the hermit. Let us talk about your person's urgent message, this urgent love message they have for you. So I feel like this could have been, this could be a disconnected connection. Sorry about that, guys. So it feels like um, a no contact situation for some of you with this eight of cups, which is truly about moving on and wearing those masks in life and walking away from those things that have been troubling you. And here we have the six of swords, which again is about movement. It's about moving away from the pain of the past. Both of these cards have very similar feelings for me. Um, one is talking about, you know, the logic that you're using to move into a better place. And one is talking about that the feelings of kind of sadness, the loving emotional feelings that come along with finally letting go of something that doesn't serve you in life. And we have this 10 of swords. So I feel like there's been a lot of pain in this connection. I feel like this person desperately wants to end the disconnect. If you are separated, they desperately want to put an end to all of the negativity that they've experienced through this connection. And some, you know, I say negativity, even if it's a no contact situation, because it does bring about a lot of, you know, stressed out emotions in your person. Your person is very sad with this disconnect and they do really wish that they could move this connection into a better place. That 10 of swords I mentioned in the, you know, this card came up in the last reading. So you may want to check out pile number one. Um, the 10 of swords is about letting go of that idea that you've become really transfixed upon but also wanting to bring it to a new place. So maybe they've let go of the idea of how things, maybe they've had a really strong idea in their mind of how they wanted things to go with you. That's not happening here. There's been disconnect. You guys are separated. Something's happened here that's wanting them to move forward, but they want to shift it. If they can't have you that way, then they want to shift it to something new because they have so much love to offer you. We have this King of Cups here. The King of Cups, you can't get any more loving energy than the King. You know, he's compassionate. He's generous. He wants to just, he wants to give you everything. He would be willing to go to the ends of the earth for you. This person would be, you know, a good parent. They would truly step up to the plate if, if, 
you know, you're overwhelmed. They would truly do everything they could to make you happy. There's a lot of loving energy here. So they want to move this connection to a new place. They want to forget the pain of the past. They want to bring in some honesty because here we have the four of cups and that's a real like apathetic type of feeling. You know, I think of the four of cups and I compare it to the four of swords, which is about retreat. It's about taking that time to, you know, retreat within yourself and to really, um, meditate on on your next action and see things clearly but the four of cups is like retreating into your emotions and letting the negative emotions take over you and like focusing on the pain of the past focusing on you know what you're not getting so there's a lot of pain in and associated with how your person's feeling right now but they're waiting for that shift because they really truly feel like you guys belong together they're not letting you know this. I feel like, again, I feel like this is a no contact situation. We have that giant moon in the back of this beautiful world card here. Um, they don't, aren't letting you know this outwardly, but they see success with you. They see closure with you. They want that closure as well. They want to end up with you. You know, they really feel like you guys are well matched. They feel like this is a soulmate connection, the yin to your yang. You know, this beautiful card as well, the temperance card, and she's holding up that beautiful the beautiful world with the yin yang symbol on it and the infinity symbol and just it feels like soulmate connection here and we have the hermit virgo energy really represented they're feeling so lonely when it comes to you there's a loneliness associated to the hermit um and i feel like again they're not able to connect with you right now they're not able to talk with you right now and it's making them sink into this this state of sadness but they're holding on to that hope that somewhere, someplace, there's a, there in some part of the universe, there is a place for the two of you and that they really feel like there is fate driving this connection. All right, so we're, here we have the six of wands in the reverse position. And you know, I see the six of wands, it's about that, it's about being successful. You know, it's about but this, you know, the, the six of wands in reverse, it's like this person's lacking confidence. They don't have the confidence. Um, it's about, you know, setbacks and they feel kind of like a failure <laughs> in this connection. Oh, we have two coming out here, guys. The three of swords. Oh, they are so sad. And the knight of cups. So that three of swords really shows the sadness that they have at releasing the past um, they may have even uh, an apology to bring forth for you guys if you guys resonate with that message because sometimes the Three of Swords brings with it, you know, an apology. Um, but it just really speaks about the heartbreak that they're sensing or feeling in this relationship right now. The Knight of Cups, you know, is a movement card. It talks about their desire. I, you know, they want to come galloping towards you. They want to offer you all of the love that they feel they've been missing with you. We have the seven of pentacles as well. So they're growing a little bit impatient with, you know, waiting around for the universe to make their move. And what I think it's important to realize is that you are the universe. You make the moves. They just, you know, just like the secret says, you know, the universe will correspond to the nature of your song because you are in charge. You know, the, you're the taxpayer. They're working for you and you have to make those moves to make the universe move for you you have to be very clear about what you want and it will bend to what you want if you focus on it with all of your will it will bend but they're growing impatient you know waiting for the, the world to make changes waiting for the world to um, turn around so that they can come towards you but they have a lot of passion they want to express with this knight of wands as well and these are movement cards so for some of you this person may actually you know break out of that feeling and you know allow their their attractiveness or their their level of attract how much they're attracted to you to really speak volumes and mo move them towards you they are worried about the conflict that that might cause they are worried about revealing themselves i feel because they feel like they reveal themselves they put themselves out on that limb but for some of you i don't feel like that's going to stop your person
Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. That could be where this Three of Swords comes out. There could be an apology, as I said, needed from past mistakes or even past inaction. There could be a forgiveness aspect to this relationship. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic interest. So they definitely want to bring in some new love to your life. They want to offer you that emotional new start. Let go of control issues. So, you know, they could have been someone who was really transfixed on this idea and having it play out in a certain way in the past. And so they're having to really take a step back to let go of some of those issues of control, to let things unfold naturally. There is a perfect plan. It's working itself out in its perfection. You know, you can help it along with your thoughts, feelings, and actions. But just to let, you know, your person's trying to see things from a new perspective unrequited love <laughs> there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and I don't feel that it's about chemistry or attractive attractiveness I feel like it's again control issues it's about having that idea so transfixed in your head that you can't imagine it in any other way you know it's like that feeling of growing up having your right having your thoughts about a perfect wedding and it's this great big huge affair and then growing up and realizing you know I don't actually want that I want something else, but calling in your soulmate. So this is a soulmate for some of you guys. Now, what if would this person say to you if they were right here? What is this urgent love message they want to express to you? What does your person want to say? I am a different person than you remember. So if this is a person from your past, they're acknowledging that they've grown up, that they've, you know, matured that they're finding themselves in a more secure place and trying to become a better person. They're working hard on that. But I do fantasize about you. They want to bring in some of that sexual energy that they've been dying to express. But you send me mixed signals. So this could be a friendship group where you were, there was a lot of flirtation in the past and they were kind of up and down. They didn't know, you know, how you felt from one day to the next could have been fear, you know, really holding you back. On the back of the deck, we do have, I miss you regardless of how things look on the outside. So they may be wearing masks in their life because we also have no one knows. I still think about you as well. So let's get some written messages here. What does this person want to say to you? If they could say anything to you with no filter right this moment, what would it be? You were meant for me. Soulmate situation here, you guys. They really feel like it's it's faded. But they know that you've moved on for some of you. That may resonate with some of your situations if you've moved on into another connection. But I, we need to talk. They want to speak with you. And they're saying that their whole world is falling apart right now. We had that Ten of Swords. And that really speaks about... It's a, a very, it's a mental sadness. You know, it's like, you know, you had your heart set on that. You ha they had their heart set on this situation in a certain way. And it's, that idea is crumbling away. And now they need to come up with a brand new game plan. So they don't know how to do it. They've never felt this way before. It's on the back of the deck. Arms for you guys. Oh, the U is hanging on. <laughs> That's interesting because this chain showed up in the in the bowl, but it was holding on to this U. So it's like no matter where I go, it's like no matter where I go, I'm taking you with me, so to speak. No matter where you go, this person takes your your energy with them. Oops, sorry, takes their energy with them. We have the we have the eight of the eight of cups again, guys, and the king of swords. They're trying to be logical. They're trying to move away from the expectation of the past. And, you know, you focus on the moon in this eight of cups and about the moon is about those dishonest feelings of the fear that they have concerning this connection. And they're wanting to move away from that. It does feel like you guys have spent a lot of time apart and they are trying desperately to be logical. The king of swords is driven by logic. He tries to come up with a plan, 
you know, this person, if you are in contact with them, although I do feel strongly that like a lot of you are not, but if you are in contact with this person, I do feel like they could act pretty cold towards you on the onset of the meeting. We have you and an arrow for direction. This person's looking for direction right now. We have the pizza. We have the um, seahorse, which is interesting because we have the seahorse here. And I noticed it early earlier, the imagery of the seahorse here on the king of cups. So the seahorse, you know, is a very interesting creature because it's the males that carry the babies. It's the males that nurture. So you could be asking about a male here that is very nurturing um, and their desire to be a father, their desire to be nurturing. We have this shell, reminds me of the high priestess, you know, those shells, they hide secrets deep inside of them. We can't see into the inner workings of this shell and your person doesn't show their, their inner feelings towards you. There's a lot of secrets, a lot of blocked intuition in this connection. The chain, you know, speaks about soulmate connections, speaks about that inexplicable drive towards a certain person. You know, you could come across a thousand people in your life, but there's that, what is it about this one person that you cannot let go of? We have this stone that makes me think of the Knight of Pentacles. And I, did we have the Knight of Pentacles here? We did not this time, but the Knight of Pentacles is someone who is really willing to dig in and get the job done unemotionally. You know, it is a slow moving energy. I feel like this has been a drawn out process for some of you. It's pretty frustrating, I'm sure. Whoops. Guys, I, we have the believe in love. Don't give up hope. Believe in the situation. No situation is insurmountable. It just takes action and drive and, you know, responding to those ideas, those sparks of inspiration and really charging at them with full force. Your person has not given up hope in this connection. Okay, group two, that is your reading. Um, this is your urgent love message from your person. If you feel that this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post. Hit the notification bell, like this video. Head on over to Instagram if you're over there. Um, otherwise, I just really hope to see you guys on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Thanks, guys. Hello, everybody in group three. I hope you guys are doing really well today. Thank you for joining me. Um, you guys were drawn to the lion spirit and this um, snapdragon. My mom used to grow snapdragons in her yard of all different colors, and I used to love to play with them, and they'd talk back to me, and it was just so magical to me as a kid. So <laughs> I felt the need to use the snapdragon today. We have the lion here today. This card showed up this week, I think maybe yesterday or the day before, um, really represents that Leo energy. I am a Leo, so welcome to the fellow and the passion that you bring forth in life. This person could also be a fire sign. I feel like they're very much aware of you. They're watching you if you're not in contact with them, but they could be somebody who, you know, really values the family unit. It's about protection as well. You know, there's a strength to this card and the strength card really teaches us to um, tame those inner beasts inside of us, tame that negative self-talk, tame the fears that we face um, to really show the courage in life to move forward. I heard a really interesting quote yesterday that said, and I hope I don't mess it up, um, your life expands to the proportion of your courage. And I think that that's a great quote for this pile because I feel like there's an expansion that can for some of you, I feel like this connection requires expansion and in life, it's important to remember that, you know, you are the divine manifester in your own world. You are the star player. You know, this is your, this is your movie, you know, and it takes courage to experience some of the things that maybe you want to experience because they're out of your comfort zone. And it's, it's easy to get even if the comfort zone is, is a negative place, even if you're in a dark place, you can still be comfortable in that energy. So the lion really reminds us to drive through that fear. And it's not about doing things unafraid. It's not about not being fearful, but it's about doing it afraid. It's about pushing through that feeling of discomfort so you can see yourself on the other side of it triumphant. Sorry, that was kind of long-winded, but... <laughs> urgent love message from your person what do they want to say to you today what do they want to get across to you that they're unable to do so in the 3d for whatever reason oh we have the three of swords you guys are so sad heartbreak sadness is represented by the three of swords they may have a, an apology to bring forth to you but they really want to tell you how sad they are that this connection maybe is in disconnect 
We have the Four of Pentacles. So they're feeling kind of possessive. I feel like they've been working on themselves, maybe working on their financial situation, working on their stability, and they've they've done pretty well and they're now trying to hold on to what they've got but when it comes to this connection they're kind of feeling greedy they're kind of feeling like they don't want to let go of it we have the queen of wands because the passion they feel for you is so strong this queen of wands you know a lot of fire energy here leo aries sagittarius i'm getting a real sense of the leo energy today um, but the queen of wands it's important to remember about her is that you know, we have this black cat in front of her. So she's got a lot of passion to wield, but this black cat reminds us to be cautious. You know, be, don't cross the queen of wands because she has a lot of passion and she is passionate and she will drive through, you know, difficult situations. But if you cross her, she remembers those things. <laughs> You know, she's so passionate. The fire signs are very fiery people. You know, if you cross them, they remember. So that's a, a real warning. This person maybe feels like they've wronged you in the past, um, but they have a lot of passion and love that they want to express to you with that Queen of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So they're growing impatient. I feel like they're very sad if this is a no contact situation. It's really playing on their nerves and playing on their emotions right now. And the seven of pentacles, I've heard it called the impatience card. Um, and it's about not being able to reap the benefits of what you sow. It's like they've been waiting a long time to come forward and express these feelings of sadness or these, this apology that maybe needs to come forward. It's about, you know, wanting to harvest. <laughs> Page of Swords. So if you are not in connect in a connection with this person right now, if you are not speaking with this person, um, I feel like they are still watching you if you have social media. They're kind of trying to keep tabs on you through friends or social interactions if you don't have social media, media but the Page of Swords comes in and he really wants to speak his truth. He's about being honest. Um, he is about bringing in a new ideas. You know, but he doesn't, he's sometimes impetuous. He's sometimes, I don't want to use the word bratty, but <laughs> it's like a young energy. It's like this feeling of, um, it's almost like an over overconfidence with the page of swords for me right now. Like this overconfidence. The other pages are kind of, they hold back or maybe they go into things with like a childlike naive like a naivete if you will. But the page of swords goes in with like an overconfidence, goes in charging, goes into slice slice through those 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 mistruths and tries to clear the air but doesn't always have a plan for when they get there so i feel like they are watching you because again they're so possessive over you you have the lovers gemini represented here you could be a gemini they could be a fire sign as well sorry not as well they could be a gemini you could be a fire sign or vice versa the lover speaks about, again, that attraction that they have for you here. Lots of attraction. We do have the death card here on the back of the deck. Um, the lovers is about choice. Your person realizes that maybe there is a, a period of time that has passed in which they know they have to act. They're growing impatient with that and they have a choice to make. It's about going to the left or to the right. It's kind of that feeling of the chariot, but it's more heartbound. I feel like there's a lot of mirrored energy here too. The attraction that they have for you is really stopping them from being able to let go. But they know that this connection needs a transition. The death card is often feared, but it is nothing to fear. It's about those it's about the breaking down of one thing so you can have something brand new start. You know, it doesn't have to mean a physical death. It doesn't have to mean the ending of a relationship altogether. But your person is very much aware that there needs to be a shift in energy because there's just too much, like there's, this is, this situation is not serving either one of you and they're very acutely aware of that. More so their own feelings because they understand this passion is going nowhere you know, the, the, the apology they need to bring forth is going nowhere until it shifts, until they're able to, you know, come towards you. And we have this Queen of Swords as well. They're trying to be logical when it comes to this connection. And the Queen of Swords, I should mention that she's not afraid to cut people out of her life if she deems she needs to. But I feel like this person is not, they're not looking at it in that, in that, um, in that light they're not looking at it like oh i'm going to cut this person off they're just looking at it logically they're trying to make moves that make the most sense i feel like they're an intelligent person and they know there needs to be a shift and here we have guys 
the strength card. We started out over here with the lion, you know, that strength, taming those inner fears inside of you. <clears throat> Maybe letting go of an idea that you've become really transfixed upon in the past and allowing yourself a new story to transfold. And Oops, I'm bumping you guys all over the place here. Okay, let's see. Urgent love message. What do they want to say to you? King of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to be logical here. You know, I, I feel like they do so in order to not feel this pain of the Three of Swords. Like, this is like so much deep, raw emotion that they're trying to hold back because they're a logical person, because they're trying to be strong. Page of Swords again, you guys. <clears throat> trying to clear the air. The King and the Page are all about that honesty, too. You know, they're all about clearing the air. And I feel like this person has a lot to reveal to you. Maybe they've never revealed their feelings. We have the Six of Wands. So they do see victory with you. They do see, you know, a future. They do want to express themselves to you in a passionate way. They want to rule with you, I feel, ultimately. And we have this on the back of the deck. We have the Four of of wands the 11 11 twin flame this could definitely be um that type of energy we have the hanged man so they're kind of waiting around for the universe to kind of make a way um for this connection they're trying to be logical about it they're holding back the hanged man shows them suspending themselves in time you know whilst maybe trying to consider their options, trying to figure out how to make their way towards you with this page of wands. He comes in with news, with offers. Those chili peppers show that, you know, he's got a lot of sexual energy to express with you. Um, but they're just kind of waiting around for that opportunity, for the perfect opportunity to come in and offer you this new start. They're trying to figure out a way with this page of swords and really keeping a keen eye on you because they're kind of possessive when it comes to this connection. They don't want to let it go, but they do want to move it into a different place. They want to move it away from the fear, away from the um, pain of the past, away from all of these negative feelings of the Three of Swords, moving it into an abundant future, changing up this connection, um, transitioning it into a brand new start. And they do want to transition it into, you know, the Four of Wands often speaks of marriage to me. You know, it speaks about making that commitment, being with your twin flame, but they are under they are very acutely aware that this connection needs a shift in energy there needs to be movement here there needs to be a you both need to move away from the fear of from the fear and be more transparent with each other Calling in your soulmate. So 1111, twin flame, soulmate situation here. Very soon. This person wants to make their way towards you. Um, we do see them hung up here waiting for an opportunity, but these cards are claiming that, you know, some of you will see movement very soon. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. If this is a no contact situation, it's happening very soon. There will be a reconciliation. But you're going to have to make that effort. You know, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You may have known this person from a very long, from very long ago, from when you were children. That could have been when this connection began for you, was way back in the day. And we have on the back of the deck, express your love. So go ahead and make those expressions of love. It's worth it in this situation. And what would your person say to you? We have our, my cottage divine masculine deck here. What would they say to you? If they could write this moment, what are the messages of love that they need to say to you right now? They urgently want you to know you're on their mind. I can't make the first move towards you. And that could really speak about that hanged man. But it's important to remember about the hanged man is we put ourselves in that state of suspension. So they're saying they can't make the first move, move towards you. But whenever my kids say I can't do something, I always say, take the T off of that I can. You know, you really have the choice to make your own choices in life but I'm letting go of the past. We have that three of swords. They want to release some of those feelings of sadness. You know, whoops. You know, we have the impatience card here. They want to let go of the past and move this into a brand new transition, into a brand new future with that death card.
I'm coming. Yes, you guys, movement coming towards you. Very soon you will see a reconciliation here to, with the opportunity to express your love. Um, <clears throat> it's, I feel like saying over here with this card, the I can't, you know, that whole saying, whether you think you can or whether the, you think you can't, you're going to be right about that. So it's all about your actions, your person's actions, their bravery. And there really is a call to be courageous here with all those lion, all this lion imagery, the strength card coming up. I made a huge mistake in the past. They have an apology to bring forward. They want to tell you that they've made a big mistake. But they're saying I can't come forward right now. Again, take the T off of that I can. Take control of your own life. And then on the back of the deck, they're saying I'm coming forward with an offer. So, you know, they're gonna flip flop back and forth. For some of you, this person's gonna come in, you know, ready to express themselves, ready for that new mistake or that new beginning. I just said new mistake. Maybe that was a Freudian slip. Um, and for some of you, they're flip-flopping back and forth. They're like, I, I want to do it. I can't do it. I want to do it. I'm too scared. They need to charge through that fear, as I said in the beginning of this. Whoops. I ache for your touch is the first card out. We do have some that fell here. I miss your touch. <laughs> Thoughts of you are overwhelming to me. And you should have been my only choice. Ooh. On the back of the deck I have, you were meant for me. Soulmate relationship, twin flames, 11-11. They've never also never felt like this before. Let's get you guys some charms. Whoops. Oh, we have the eight of cups again, you guys. Oh my gosh. We have the queen of swords, both those cards. Let's just take a look, quick look here. Maybe the Eight of Cups was in the last pile. We had the Eight of Cups in the last pile a bunch of times. So, you know, <laughs> I was just curious if this was the same pile, but it is not. So we have the Eight of Cups starting out and we have the Queen of Swords. So they want to move away. They're trying to be logical. They're trying to be intelligent, but there is a call to move away from that fear. The moon is in this card. You know, they want to move away from fear. They want to move away from the past and come towards you with logic. Um, and I, I feel like it's a real dichotomy, like the cups and the, and the swords are kind of like a yin yang, like the cups are about emotion, the swords are about your intellect. So they're struggling with that, that concept, that idea. They're trying to be logical. You know, part of them wants to come towards you. Part of them is telling them that it's not a great idea. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have the I can. Courage is being asked of you. I can do this. We have the shell and we have a sea, uh, starfish here. So, you know, the shell makes me think of the high priestess, those secrets that need to be revealed. I sometimes think of the empress as well, but with the purple shell, I often think of the high priestess. So those secrets, you know, that need to be revealed, they're sitting upon them. It's like they're nesting them. They're not letting it them hatch. <laughs> and, you know, it makes me think about, you know, the difference between the black egg and the golden egg you know if you sit on something too long it turns black it, it passes ex its expiry date so we have the a and the g we have the ring here that says forever and i was given this ring when i was younger when i was in high school i think by like a friend the other half says friends and um, i just feel like for some of you this has been a relationship that has spanned years and years <clears throat> we have and every hair from fair I can't read that. I'm sorry. It's too close, guys. And every hair from fair sometimes declines. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> okay, group three. That is your reading. This is your urgent message from your person, from an urgent love message from your person. This is what they want to say to you right this moment. If this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. If you feel called to subscribe to my channel, it helps me out so much. Push the notification bell, push the like, like button, head on over to Instagram if you're over there. Otherwise, I just really hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.